there. I'd like to um, do a wee devotion again. And it's called A Storm as a Warning. Now Jonah chapter 1 verses 4 to 16. Yeah, Jonah 1 verses 4 to 16 says, But as the ship was sailing along, suddenly the Lord flung a powerful wind over the sea, causing a violent storm that threatened to send them to the bottom. Fearing for their lives, the desperate sailors shouted to their gods for help and threw the cargo overboard to lighten the ship. And all this time Jonah was sound asleep down in the hold. So the captain went down after him. How can you sleep at a time like this, he shouted. Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will have mercy on us and spare our lives. Then the crew cast lots to see which of them had offended the gods and caused this terrible storm. When they did this, Jonah lost the toss. What have you done to bring this awful storm down on us, they demanded. Who are you anyway? What is your line of work? And what country do you come from? What's your nationality? And Jonah answered, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven who made the sea and the land. Then he told them that he was running away from the Lord. The sailors were terrified when they heard this. Oh, why did you do this to us? They groaned. And since the storm was getting worse all the time, they asked him, What should we do to you to stop this storm? Throw me into the sea, Jonah said, and it will become calm again. For I know that this terrible storm is all my fault. Instead, the sailors tried even harder to row the boat ashore. But the stormy sea was too violent for them, and they couldn't make it. Then they cried out to the Lord, Jonah's God. O Lord, they pleaded, don't make us die for this man's sin. And don't hold us responsible for his death. Because it's not our fault, Lord. You've sent the storm upon him for your own good reason. Then the sailors picked up Jonah and threw him into the raging sea. And the storm stopped at once. The sailors were awestruck by the Lord's great power. And they offered him a sacrifice and vowed to serve him. Now the Lord had arranged for a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. Now, it says here, and he said to them, pick me up and throw me into the sea, then the sea will become calm for you. For I know that this great tempest is because of me. Well, the the disobedient prophet Jonah refused to carry out God's command that he should warn the people of Nineveh against their sins. He followed his own head and boarded a ship that was sailing in the opposite direction to Tarshish. But the Lord wasn't finished with Jonah. He used a storm to point out his disobedience to him. And Jonah realised this all too well. When the ship's crew asked him what they should do to get the storm to calm down, Jonah immediately gave them the correct solution. They had to throw him overboard. Then the sea would calm, as it was because of him that the storm was raging around them. When they obeyed him, albeit reluctantly, the storm did calm. But Jonah was swallowed up by a large fish. And in the fish's belly he called again to God. God heard his prayer and he saved his life. God sometimes uses storms in our life to point out disobedience. If this happens... You should listen to the message of the storm and confess your disobedience before God. Fortunately for all of us, God is extremely merciful. He's always prepared to give us another chance. You can therefore take the liberty of confessing your sin, of listening to him and of forsaking your sin. That's a good lesson to us all, eh? because sometimes we do run away from what the Lord wants us to do instead of just falling in with his, in his line. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we realise, Lord, that you send storms, Father God, in our lives so that we will return to you and obey you. 
Thank you for always being prepared, Lord, to forgive us when we come to you and confess. Lord, what a wonderful feeling it is to know, Lord, that we are forgiven and that we can start afresh. And thank you, Lord, for always being there for us. Amen. Thank you.